being hit on in the play. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's just, it's, I'm, I'm quite amazed because it just wasn't the way it was played when I played. Was, you know, I'd use his bashing and hurt anyone as much as you could and don't worry about the consequences. But we've grown. We understand that you know, it's just too damaging, particularly around head high injuries in that high area because we understand uh, the risk there with concussion and the long-term damage of that. So yeah. the game's really grown in that way. We're asking a lot of players that. And you've got to get uh, back uh, underway here. The ball's about to be bounced. Thanks very much for joining us here on City Park Radio. Our pleasure. Thanks for your contribution Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Andy. And uh, we're back here underway in the second half. It's in the Clarence Ford line. They trail by 33 points. What a terrific insight, Dave, as the ball yep. goes out of bounds. But you can spend five, five hours you can spend with him talking yep. about all things Tassie foot. He's done a lot. Coach, played, you know, um, at high levels. He's commentated. He's been in education sector. He's been in a club sector. Absolutely brilliant. So uh, thank you for that from Andy Bennett. Inside 50, Clarence go here. So we've resumed the third quarter. A minute in, North Fontest and 7, 6, 48. Lee Clarence, 2, 3, 15. Donnelly in the back pocket. The ball goes out of bounds. Tony, we might have to do this in a couple of grabs, but what do you got for us at uh, half time? Uh, young Declan Chuck has been taken to hospital. There's still a bit of bleeding there. They think it might have come from a bit further down than the mouth, so they're going to get that tested and get back to us, but I suspect he's gone for the day. So North have only got to an interchange. And Clarence are very quiet in the rooms. It took about 10 minutes before anyone said anything. And then Jeremy took him into this side room, so I didn't hear what happened after that. Thanks, Tony. He's been a free kick for holding the ball, Macca. What yeah, free kick holding the ball. So it's uh, going to be a free kick to Colin Garland, who uh, I think he got Van Buren there holding the footy. So Colin Garland's going to line up. Against the breeze, and Colin Garland. He's looking for Clarence's third goal. Starts left and goes further left. Maxie's saying, kick it to the left goal post. He starts in the centre, it turns sideways and hits the post. So Garland misses a crucial one that would have got Clarence's third. But just giving them anything but confidence, uh, Max. That's what they needed. Van Buren steps out of the square with that extra space, comes down here to commentary side of the ground. Bennett sets himself, Pierce bashes in. And that's going to be out of bounds. Deliberate has to be against Foon. It's going to be a free kick to Darcy Gardner. Just forward to centre wing. Clarence going against a pretty strong breeze here at the moment. Down towards Invermay Park, end of the ground. Especially when you get the ball up above those grandstands. It's a good kick inside 50. Wall sets himself, can't take it. Josh Green battles in. Kicked a terrific high, goal, yeah. too high. It's going to be a free kick just outside 50. So Josh Green... Going to wheel and go, play on. Kicks to the top of the square. Who's there? Could have been held the Clarence forward. They've asked for it. And that was, I think, the youngster there in pre-shaw. Down five says, give it to me. Quick score. It's still 11 points of difference at Twin Overs. Launceston 44, Kingborough 33. So and we've got a boundary thrown right next to the behind post. And an identical start to the first quarter as well, Groves. You know, two yep. or three quick inside 50s to Clarence without the result. Attacking position here, Wade Wall in front, but uh, Donnelly wins the tap. Out here towards Webley. Pierce does well though, kicks it off the ground, only as far as Harper. Harper sideways handball. And they're fighting hard is Walsh for North Lancers. Then he dragged the ball back in a little bit, but uh, not penalised. Of course, those two rotations, Mac, will be pretty important in a, in a wet day like this. The North Lancers and down to the 20 men. Yeah, they are, yes. And uh, they could come back, but they've got a good lead. Did all their work in the first half. Here's Webberley, inside 50 kick, Scrubby. Coming out there with Stingle by hand was good. They've been good at this today. North Launceston, Avent to Foon, all handballs. Foon lays it on the boot, barrel style. Centre of the ground. Jackie Rushton's got grass in front of him. And he's been overtaken by the speedster in Leary. Leary, inside 50, hit up. Oh, it's missed his teammate there. Went straight through him in Potter. Kick two in the first half. Cox good, just starting deep forward. Clarence, they defend admirably by hand over the top. There from Clarence was, what's his name? Paprotny. Paprotny. What a uh, tongue twister for me. Inside 50, Jackie Rustin looks for Walsh. Well done, Weverly. Spoiled by hands over the top, Borspoon. Comes down here now to Stingle. Round in a circle, tries to get on that trusty left. He's got Pierce on the other side of the ground. He's got Donnelly inside 50 all on his own. Is it going to get there? It doesn't. Goes to his shoelaces. Webley puts pressure on. One on four, Webley. He can't beat Pierce. Pierce from beyond 50. Looks long, looks long, but misses near side. So seven goals, 749 North London. And they lead Clarence 
two four sixteen. Thirty three points the margin. And, uh, identical margin half time because uh, just the one behind a piece in the early minutes. So kicking out from full back, taking his full measure is Keegan Wiley. Gets it well beyond defensive 50. Front position Jackson at the front of the contest. Walsh, quick kick inside 50. Back towards Wiley and Bennett. That's Tom Bennett. Everyone appealing there for deliberate out of bounds. There'll be a boundary throw in on attacking 50. Yes, Maxi. Uh, look, just speaking of Bennett's, uh, one of our avid listeners, Richard Bennett. Uh, many happy returns for today, Birthday. Richard. Uh, a big 5-6 today, I've been told. So, happy birthday, Richard. Keen supporter of City Park Radio. Does very, our cricket commentary good. in the, uh, the summertime. So, another boundary throw in. It's now just outside attacking 50. Dave Gruber's stats here. Four inside 50s to three in this quarter. Four free kicks for Clarence this quarter to zero. Interesting little stat there. Bounty umpire's doing a great job. Tough with this breeze. The rain's not going to stop. Clarence player tackle to the ground. Spills out here towards Rushton. Backs to Norton. Does okay to get a kick out of the contest. And it's out of bounds now. It's about 70 metres around. We've got an AFL score, boys. We haven't had one for a while. Yeah. The AFL's on, Foz. We're all, uh, yeah, we're all talking engrossed. about this. Uh, yeah. Sydney are 58. They lead St Kilda 49. I think that's the only game. Yep. With Adelaide and Collingwood starting at 4.35. Launceston 44. The Tigers 33. It's uh, KG5, later score there. Glorky 54, Lauderdale 29. Wet day for footy around Northern Tasmania. Tough conditions, middle of winter, we love it. Out it comes, backs to Norton, kick smothered. Might fall to Pierce, he thumps the ball forward. Tries to find Donnelly. Out of bounds. It's going to be a tough... Uh Yep, thing to get five half. goals in, isn't it? This yep. is, we mentioned early on, it was like, you know, inside 50s, the ball was going from one arc to the other, but that's all dried up uh, pretty much. But what hasn't dried up is this rain. As the boundary umpire throws it in, left forward pocket. Weverly, good with hand. Sorry, it was Gardner. Over the top to Norton. And the umpire's pinged a free kick, and it's going to go to Clarence to Garland. To Garland, over the top to Norton by hand. Not worked out how the way he wished so put Norton under pressure ball goes up, centre wing, good mark you can definitely do that, pre-short he's impressive Ollie very pre -short. impressive Impressive. you can see why he's their leading goal kicker on a fine day, get him inside 50 anything be possible, that's a forward spinning punt, looking for the big Malay there in Hay, can't find him Stingle, good again off half back just gets it going forward well, that's a nice little uh, kick from Potter just an outside of the boot. Here's now Donnelly. Inside 50. Cox, good your sets one-on-one. -on -one. Interesting. He's gone deep forward, Max, in well, the that's second just, half. That's just one of those less, less rotations, isn't it? So he'll be spending his rest deep forward, so I yeah. would think. It'll kick out now towards Paprotny. Oscar Paprotny cruises outside. Defensive 50. Kick to wide. Out of bounds on the full. Right in front of us here on the RACT stand. So, relieving free kick here, Jay Foon. Just need to get the ball. It's gone behind the coach's box. All the crowd in behind the glass today. Yep. North Launceston Club rooms and up behind narrow CT glass. So Jay Foon. Couple of kicks out from goal. Looks laterally. They decide now to go long. Looking for Bennett. Plenty of Clarence defenders there. Here they mark to Wade Wall. Ball spills back to Wall. Bottled up. Ball up inside attacking 50 for North Launceston. I suppose the thing for Clarence we try to be within the five goal sort of range at three quarter time. Yeah, a bit of breeze. And then, and get on the, you know, know, on the two go. Two rotations down North Launceston. See if they can mount something. We had a good look at that replay of that goal from the second quarter. We couldn't work out why it was a point. We still yeah. can't work it out. So. I have to talk to someone on the ground. Uh, kick four by Sulzberger. Sorry, Maka. So right. Gets it towards Rushton. Tracks the ball. Picks it up. Does Rushton near the boundary line. Does well. Gets it out. It'll be a high tackle there on Leary. And he'll take a uh, shot for goal from about 35 out. 10 metres in from the boundary. Brown and Leary. Replaces the headband. 
kicking towards the town into the ground. That's where the stick start is Brandon Leary. Four goals on debut at Lauderdale. Skips around. Puts it towards the goal face. There's Brandon Leary. That's a beautiful goal. Great goal from the boundary line to Brandon Leary after a free kick. And that's their eighth North Launceston. 8-8-56, 2 4 16. Game high margin of 40 points. He's definitely a goal kicker, Max. I mentioned before the game, two goals a game he's averaging. He's just got the one today, but that was a terrific goal. It certainly was. He's having a stellar season. And uh, that one really hurts Clarence because they fought really hard for that first 10 minutes. Got a couple of entries to start with. North have had the last probably half a dozen entries into their forward 50 without capitalising and uh, when you do all that hard work especially with this breeze that we suspect about at least a two to three goal breeze minimum uh, to hold them out for a third of the quarter and then they get one like that uh, that's a bit disappointing. Angustine up in the ruck, the big 209 centimetre 110 keg former German uh, national ball comes down now after he won the hit out, Weberly inside 50 for Dave Gruber and he goes as far as Bennett Walls there, as is four spoon. Ball now goes outside 50. Off the ground, Donnelly. Oh, good play there from Leary. He's smart, he's clever, yeah. and he's quick. Right. It looked good, Foon. Another barrel inside 50, looking for Cox Kutcher. Bennett's there as well. Potter, kick two. Well done by Buchner on the up. Gives it over the top to his teammate in Beasley. Or Beerley. Beerley. I should Beerley. say, no S. Norton. And Riley Sanders out on the outer wing, two good youngsters of the Tassie competition. And umpire says, give it to me. That's going to be a throw in. Centre wing, right into the wind here. On the railway wing side of the ground, boundary umpire. Tough job today. Nice throw in. Coming up there now, the Sulzberger. Donnelly again, A vent. Twists and turns. Sulzberger. Sanders inside 50 looking for Cox Goodger on the lead. He looks dangerous up there, does Cox Goodger? Gives it over to Pierce. Inside 50, Russian's going to stay down. Here he is. Jackie Rushton off the mm. deck, can't get it. Gets it out here now in front of Webberly for Clarence. He goes off the ground with a slap. It's Jackie Rushton fighting again. He pops up and he can't get it. It's a ball up. He's never out of a contest, is he? No. Started quiet today. Started a little bit of time on the bench, much to our disgust. But, uh, it's his sort of day. Fozzie? The Blues still hang in, uh, or the, the King of Tigers still hanging around there. Only 11 points down, 44 to 33. 16 minutes into the third quarter. Wade Wall gets the tap out towards the boundary line. Over the boundary line. So uh, Clarence, it's the two goals in this game so far. There'll be a lot of low scores around Northern Tassie today with these conditions at the various grounds. Next week we're at Windsor Park. Launceston versus North Hobart. And of course, North Hobart may have the Devils again, Macca. What's your word there? Uh, no, not no. next week, probably. Next week. Okay. I'm hearing they're trying to play a game up in Sydney against the Sydney Academy. So Darcy Garner does well, gets it to Baxter Norton by foot, yeah. takes the mark in the back pocket. Which is good for those under 19 boys with a disrupted season yet again. Norton goes wide towards Boresboom. A chance for Clarence now. Releasing handball up towards half forward. Brennan Hay can't take the mark. Binoculars time, it's a long way away. Very gloomy. Still high on the bo bottom of the pack. Be a baller. Not reaching any great heights no. at the moment. This <laughs> game again at the moment, gentlemen. After uh, a pretty, you know, pretty good first half of footy, but uh, this first 13 and a half minutes of the third quarter has been pretty lacklustre. Avent kicks inside 50. Can Cox could you light it up? Take uh, him and Buchner over the boundary line. It's a good matchup, Macca Buchner and Cox could you? Yeah. Well, uh, Bush has got the body size, no doubt about that, but he's got the speed and the dynamics. We'll soon see as this game goes on. Uh, it's deep in the four puck, inside 50s for Dave Gruber. So North Launceston 10 to 4. Mm -hmm. They've had most of the play. Of course, they've got the breeze, but um, we couldn't see Clarence. It'll be very difficult. They'll have to score a couple late in this quarter. And then they come home strongly. They have uh, the, the full number of rotations, has to be said. A vent, will handball to Rush, who's tackled from behind. Ball, says the Clarence supporters. And the ball up right on the digits of 50 on the left-hand side. Up it goes. Wade Wall and Bennett. Bennett taps it out. Jackson might have got a high tackle. He did. So a chance to clear defence of 50. All the players have pushed up. 
Thinks about the switch. And he's going to go down the railway wing. Might clear the contest here. No, great mark in front. Donnelly. Thomas Donnelly. Gets rid of it straight away, but this uh, might not come off here. Taken by Proprotny. He just kicked the air balls. It's straight to Stingle. Stingle back to Donnelly. Off half back now. That's Darcy Lay. Gets it towards Sanders who went one-handed. Pierce gets it back over towards Sanders. Clarence players in the way. Well done by Darcy Gardner. But they just keep turning it over. And uh, G's got the ball on the string at half back. It's Michael Stingle. Michael Stingle looks in, finds Donnelly. Wheels and goes. I think he's enjoying this ruck roll as Donnelly. Sulzberger will look to go on his left. Inside 50, Rushton or Avent take your pick there. And it's Avent who wins out. So Avent hit up nicely and he's Cox Goodger. We mentioned he's starting in the square, starting deep, coming up at the footy. And he's finally got to look at one. Well, one thing we can say is this well within his range, Max. In fact, he might even kick it from the centre square just to make it hard. But uh, he's going to have a shot from goal directly in front. He'll kick from right on the 50. Winded his back towards the city end of the ground. He's inside the centre square now. Breaks the 50, does Cox Goodger. It looks good. It's got the distance, but it misses near side. And it's one behind. 8 9 57. They lead Clarence 2 4 16 to the Northern Bombers. You're listening to City Park Radio 103.7, 96.5. And this is David Moore, the captain of the commentary team. Another mark, this time to Sanders. They just can't clear it out of defence at the moment, Max. No, Jack, sorry, Dave. <laughs> Jack's is asleep. Hang, Hang on, Max. Turn the no, no, this morning. I just wanted to see what uh, Sanders was going to do with the ball then, that's all. So he he didn't do much at all that time. Pen right now to Bailey. Back to his man. Goes wide. Here's Oliver Preshaw. Good chase there from Sanders. Back position is Angustine. Front position was Van Buren. Taken by Fletcher Bennett. Now to Sanders. He covers the territory. Stingle fumbles the handball. Has enough time to recover. Back to Van Buren. Kick to half forward. Donnelly puts the arms up. Over the back. Cox Goodger. Gets the handball. It was Leary. Dangerous. Wheels around. This way, that away. Centering ball to Pierce. He can't quite take the mark. Gets it though, does Nathan Pierce For goal, another one of the Bombers. The ball held up in the breeze. Pierce, good hands in the wet conditions. Took it. And uh, from 30 out directly in front. Has kicked another goal for North Launceston. They go to 9-9-63. Clarence 2-4-16. The Bombers well on top. Maxie Walker. Yeah, certainly a long way back from here for Clarence. I couldn't see it happening. And uh, yeah, it could... Yeah, what have we got? Another 10 minutes of this quarter to go. If North can capitalise on uh, another three or four goals in that 10 minutes, and uh, you know they proved in that uh, second quarter that you can kick goals at uh, the Invermay Park end today, so it's not beyond the reins of possibility that uh, they run away with a convincing win here. Clarence have got a really good job, uh, or big job to do now, in just tightening up and uh, stopping, the, stopping the goals raining. Darcy Gardner gets the ball on the outer wing from the ball up. He got hit out there. He's pretty sure. Been one of Clarence's better players. Hard to match up on. Here's Howlett. Haven't had much of that today as Howlett. Comes back again and goes again. Does Howlett. Well done there by the North Launceston defender. That's Alistair Bourne. And it's going to be a free kick, I think. I can see it through the sheets of rain. And then Curvis. And then Curvis with the long sleeves. Looks for Donnelly up in front. Quick to recover. Well done. Force boom. By hands, they went backwards about 10 metres. North Launceston getting it going forward. The rain has definitely set in here now. But North Launceston are going to set in for victory. Here's Donnelly. He touches on the ground. On the outside to Bennett. Bennett left foot kick. Can't find Potter. The ball goes out of bounds near side. Tony's got some news on Ollie Angerstein. I have. At half time, he was getting a lot of uh, massage treatment on one of his legs, the right leg. His left leg is bandaged, but I think most ruckmen do that. <laughs> he's not moving well. I think he's playing injured, and that's why he's not doing so much ruck work. Yeah, thanks, Tony. Because long legs yeah. too, Max. Take a bit of time to get around him. A lot of tape on it. A lot, a lot of tape. With height, I wouldn't say they're exactly uh, massive, but he's put on the big uh, framed as Angerstone. He had something to the competition. There's no doubt about that. Quick kick from Beely was uh, caught. Here he is, the big fella. Oh, he jumped.
Jackson jumps over thin out. He misses the footy. Josh Green goes and takes the ball out of bounds. Ozzy. Uh, goal to Luke Graham at the Twin Ovals. They're only trailed by five points now, although Dylan Riley's about to kick one through, I think. And he does, so he extends the lead back to 11 points. Yeah, good game down there. Fine conditions, unlike here at UTAS, but we're lucky enough to be up here in the box behind the glass. Get the inside 50s for Dave Gruber in a moment just to see if he's awake. What's 14 he got to there? 4, Becca. 14, 14 to 4, 4 yeah. yeah, true dominant performance there. What's uh, hit outs? Uh, Clarence 11 to North Launceston 4. Of course, uh, for you, if you've just joined us, Alex Lee taken off earlier in the game with a, with a leg injury. Didn't look to be too uh, much of an issue, but I think uh, come this, they were already, what, four goals up probably when he went off. So I'll just put him in, in cotton wool for the rest. They go to Lauderdale next week uh, to North Launceston, play Lauderdale, the Northern Bombers versus the Southern Bombers. And uh, for those that, as I said, just joined us, Declan Chug, unfortunately, uh, just been taken to hospital, uh, something to do with a, a head injury in terms of uh, might be mouth or jaw area maybe. So we'll keep an eye on that. It was friendly fire, that uh, collision that he had there earlier in the game, did uh, the goal kicker Declan Chug. So we wish him all the best if he uh, needs to recover. Ball goes out of bounds, left forward pocket, uh, oh. left uh, centre wing, sorry. Just going to score in that other game, Macca. So it's uh, Glenorchy 9-6-60, Lauderdale 5-7-37. A badly needed win to the Pies there. Called him home. Called him home. Called him home. And three quarter time in the Sydney St Kilda game. Sydney have stretched <laughs> the lead to 10 points, 71 to 61. So not much happening here at the moment. It's a really wet weather footy, but Foon does get a kick forward here towards Leary. Kick out of mid air there by Bealey. Didn't make contact. And we've got a free kick back on play. Might be going to now. Leary's come out of that contest very sore. Slow to get up, and so is James Bealey. Holding a lower leg there. They both clashed. And Bealey's going to hobble towards the boundary line. Not sure which way the free kick's going to go. It's Riley Sanders is having a spell as well. Bealey looks okay. Holding his side at the moment. But uh, the free kick. Mark Walsh now also hobbling. So, gee, there's a, a bit of a tradition there out of that just contest. just the game, the conditions. Yeah. Uh, I was up at St. Patrick's earlier today for a second 18 game versus Scott Jokeburn and I think uh, three of the players, two from Scott and one from St Pat's all ended up in hospital, like nothing uh, big collision, it was just ankles and it was knees and it was um, heads and whatever Max is saying, head on this one Yeah, so uh, Walsh just um, Roggy got a, well, got a bit of claret coming out the forehead at the moment mm. so It's one of those, don't we don't rule a lot of wet footy, have we Dave? No, not this year Yeah, the bodies take a bit of getting used to it and they slide in and it's tough footy so uh, Walsh is coming off. It could be split, Max. Bit of blood there, I think. Split like a chook's foot, Matthew. Oh, here we go again. Oh, we haven't heard that for 12 months, but no. we, we welcome it back. We love it. Yes. <laughs> One of Max's specials. <laughs> anyway, Jay Foon's got the ball. He's uh, 60 metres out. Yeah, nothing's happened, by the way, while we talk. I think it's because it's a blood rule. Uh, we have to wait for the player to clear the arena. He's arm in arm with the trainer. Doesn't look great, Mark Walsh. We'll get uh, Tony on that. He's got a, a few injuries to check on. So that's one, left on, out of the one left on the bench then, is it, yep. for North? They've lost Chug Lee yep. and now Walsh. Foon wheels round. He kicks high. Big pack forming. Josh Green takes a chest mark in front. So Green. He keep playing the outer side, the Clarence Ruse. They're struggling to get it past halfway in this last 10 minutes or so. Angus Dean in the contest knocks the ball out of play. You listen to City Park Radio 103.7 and 96.5. Thanks to our sponsor. This broadcast is brought to you by Elgas for your LPG needs statewide. Talk to the locals with knowledge. Phone 13 11 61. Thank you for your support, Elgas. Bounty throw in. Angus Dean wins it. Pops it straight up though. Kick forward by Foon. Inside attacking 50. Leary will get there first. Confronted though by Buchner. Cox Kudja kicks it, but the ball was out of bounds. 47 points the margin. We don't see any statistics on the, the height and all that of some of these new guys who come in, so you're a bit unsure. But obviously, Potter has got a fair bit of height yeah. about him. He's not taking this uh, boundary throne, but he has taken the last couple around the ground. So we see Tom Pennant going up against. Uh, Angus sign on this occasion, but uh, yeah, Potter must have a bit of height because he started deep forward as well. Of course, Max, a lot of the uh, D League from last year left the club. Some yep. of those loyal ones that stayed, like Potter, are now getting senior opportunities. Yep, and doing well. That's right. And here's Foon now. Geez,
of it, Jay Foon today. Yep. At this time, his kicks is uh, fading with the breeze out of bounds on the full. Massive season, Jay Foon, Macca. Yeah, he just keeps getting the footy, doesn't he, uh, Jay Foon? He, we've seen him play like as a half back back in their really strong days, and now he's just moved into a midfield role, pushing forward, uh, kicking goals, averaging 19 uh, kicks a game. Um, you know, he's leading, leading the competition there. Uh, in that stat behind Daniel Joseph, in fact, so he's second in that one. But just lots of disposals, averaging 27, nearly 28 possessions a game is uh, Jay Foon. We'll get Groob's T. He's not on air, but at Groob's, approximate how long since you think Clarence had their last inside 50. Here we go. Ten minutes, he reckons. I ten reckon minutes, yeah. good ten minutes. Yeah, good ten minutes. I think it was, was it Garland that had the shot down there? Yeah. You know, ball hit the post. 17 to four now, the inside 50s. Nothing's happening here at the moment, boys. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. Cues in the rack a bit here uh, for some of these players. As uh, Foon now, <laughs> though, wheels around. He keeps getting it. And Donnelly could have been held there on the follow-up. He's played well today, Thomas Donnelly. Jackie Avent goes in. Players throwing themselves in. There's no lack of endeavour in that passage of play. The clear air here now. As it's kicked off the ground towards the centre of the ground. Can they mount something here? Harper's tackled. Held, on held without it. So Foon tries to take advantage, but it's going to be Harper at the 26 and a half minute mark. Goes short. Gee, that's dangerous. Might reach the target. It does. There and Karen Howlett. Gets it back to Darcy Gardner. Handball to Tremaine. Back to Tremaine. First passenger play fans have had for a little while. But it comes undone with a fumble from Tremaine. Ball flips out. More Pontus of player tackled. And the light's really taking effect here now. Consistent rain pretty much the whole game. It's got heavier since half time, if anything. Angustine, lovely tap there to Harper. Kicks it inside attacking 50. That's an inside 50 for your grooves for the, uh, the Ruse. Coughed up, though, by the Bombers' defence. They get it back again. And it's cleared out here towards Griffiths. Griffiths would have been taken high. Umpire said play on. Sulzberger getting plenty of game time in his first game because they've really got no one on the bench to bring on. Here's Norton, hit up, good lead, good find. Finds Penwright. Penwright turns the footy over again. We've called that a bit for Clarence today. Up and over the top is Boss Boom. Doesn't go far, rushed and in D50. What's he doing there, Foz? He needs to be up in the goals. Oh, big Angerstein drops a set up. i tell you what he does. He loves a tackle, does a big fella. And he uh, puts all his 110 kegs into it. Ball spills out to Boss Boom. Play on to Foon. We said that one did today. Foon crosses 50. Looks for goal. Foon misses. Well, giveaway there. But Foon to, Foon to Donnelly or Donnelly to Foon. It's been a Quinella that's called a lot today. And Clarence go back the other way through Keegan Wiley. And that, Maxie, that's what uh, North Fox are able to do that Clarence aren't. That rebound from half back. And they've, they've done it really well today. You've seen it happen, you know, probably six or eight times, just uh, nearly coast to coast. Three-quarter time, Twin Ovals, Blues 50, Tigers 39. A bit of rain down there now as well. As it's taken here by Lockie Borsboom. He goes towards the pocket. Can they get a late goal here, the Ruse? Spills out of bounds in front of Jack Preshaw. Try and get us a score, South Lonnie Longford, Max. One of the games I'm interested in today. Get your contacts, please. I will do One of the better now. NTFA contests up at the kennel. Right. Uh, noticed before that uh, half-time Devonport with three goals to one over Wynyard, so obviously wet weather up there at uh, the Wynyard Oval. Here we go now through Baxter Norton. Kicks it sideways. Looking here for Howlett. Howlett at soccer now here at uh, Utah Stadium. They're not even picking the ball up. It's so wet. This time they do through Howlett again. Little kick inside, 50 looking for Green. <laughs> Bend it off the ground. Stingle. Knocked up getting kicks. Could be amongst the votes again. Once again, it's Karen Howlett. He kicks it out of bounds on the foot. Oh. So the uh, the lights on the scoreboard very prominent now. Leaving a free kick from the back pocket. Close to three-quarter time. Jackie Avent goes off the mark. Gains some territory. Kicks up to wing. Big fly. Not taking the mark there, though, by the Clarence player. Baxter Norton's tackled. Ball up, far side. 64 plays 16, margin 48. Heavy rain there, you can probably hear it in the effects, Mike. Yeah. Ball's on centre wing. Angerstein, Jackson, Ethan Jackson, sees the ball out on centre wing.
Can't be long to go, guys. It's 29 minutes. We're going to kick two goals for the quarter. Lots of stoppages. Lots of oh. colour on the radar, Mac. It's going to get worse in this last quarter. What are we predicting? 20 mils yeah. each? How much a grey, Foz? <laughs> uh, it's not an easily actually so much there. Three quarter time. North Launceston 9 10 64. Lee Clarence 2 4 16. And uh, some sore players, and they're going to be sore by the end of this game because we've got another quarter to go in these very, very wet conditions. I've only so seen one North Launceston player emerge from the bench, Macca. So